Guys, I think it's time for a break. Every time I log on to FC24, I'm met with gameplay that does nothing but frustrate me, more packs being added to the store to try to get us to spend more money, and I'm still waiting on hero player pick compensation that was literally released a month ago. Where's that at? Why does this game feel like it sucks right now, and why does it make me not want to play it? I think it's time for me to take a break. All right, I made a meal of this. Let's start this video like normal. Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Jokes aside, guys, this is going to be my last video for the next week on this game because I'm heading off on a week of vacation or holiday, whatever you want to call it. Uh, since the beginning of FC24, we've uploaded every single day except for two days, which is pretty crazy, but that is what I enjoy doing on this channel, and I have no intentions of changing that. I just wanted to have a little bit of fun with the intro today, with the title of this video, just to have some fun because we don't do that too often around here. We're just kind of strictly business. But I wanted to have some fun today because, um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of inform you guys about that, why there won't be any videos in the next couple of days. Because I still love keeping up to date with stuff like the market, content, leaks, all the news to help you and me have the best experience in this game as possible. So nothing is changing. But it's time for a little bit of a refresh and for a recharge. So today, I want to look forward into this next week. We got a lot to talk about in today's video with stuff that's going on right now, stuff that's going to be happening, investments we can potentially make, investments that I have made. And uh, yeah, I know that some of you guys are also pretty frustrated with the game. After Team of the Year, there's still a lot of frustration with Future Stars even and Road to the Final. So I hear you and I see you as well. But uh, let's be honest, right now, the gameplay grind is not the best uh, besides the cup, but the menu grind is really there. So we're going to talk about that in this video and everything to expect this week in this game. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's go straight to the top and talk about yesterday's SBC content. Sunday yesterday was a pretty quiet day for the most part. I mean, it kind of was a day that went as expected, right? We had the 87 plus base triple threat UCL hero player pick and guys, I mean, why even release this SBC EA? I mean, it's there and it is craftable in this week of the 83 times 10 and the crafting upgrade, all the insane SBCs that we had released on Saturday, right? So it is there and it is craftable. But look at look at this. It's 90% downvoted on Footbin, which is really, really crazy. It's 94,000 coins. It is a one of four. So they added that fourth slot. Uh, I think maybe it was last time they dropped it. And then here again, it has the fourth slot again. And it's 87 plus. But yeah, I mean, the only thing that I would say to do this for is just crafting it because the menus right now are just full of fodder with the cup rewards, with the 8310, all the crafting, all that. So that is nice. But man, for most of these that I see, the fact that base heroes are still included, it is not that good at all. Now, we did have a player SBC yesterday, and it was who I maybe thought wasn't going to be dropped. We had the Julie hero. We had back to back days of a fantasy hero card drop in this game. Four star, four star Julie. And these actually are really, really good price. That is the big W with this SBC. This card is only 90,000 coins to complete for a four star, four star. Very good in terms of statistics right wing player on this game he's got 97 balance he has 91 shot power 92 pace 93 stamina really really good on the ball i played against him once yesterday uh some people have made comparisons to like a um kind of like a george best or who else uh, there's a really good wing card that everybody's been using this year that people have, are kind of comparing this to as well not quite eusebio but he's five foot five and he's just really fast right and of course his dribbling is really good too so it's kind of ratty in that sense he does have good play styles. It's just, again, why did EA choose to go with two of the most less used for his style play style pluses? He's got Flare Plus, which I think is the most useless play style in the game, and he's got Acrobatic Plus. For a 5'5 five five player, I mean, sure, he can perform a bicycle kick, but again, he's a lot shorter. You know, okay, at volley animations, maybe he's got really good, like, volley shots that aren't, you know, requiring his height to be that great, but I think... Really, if they would have given him finesse, technical, uh, relentless, um, quick step, whipped pass plus, like he's got other really good play styles that they could have elevated to the play style plus that would have made this card a lot more hype. But then again, it probably would not have been 93,000 coins. So for the stats, for the links, it is a good card for 93k. He's got League One links as well. So I'm not complaining too much about this. And of course, a lot of people are excited for it too. It's one for me that I'm probably not going to craft if I'm being completely honest. But if you're looking to build a French team, I've had a lot of French SBCs lately, and this guy would go straight into it, and he's probably going to be pretty good for a cheap price, or just a fun card to try out. Now, one card that we're looking at yet again that is dropped down in price on the market is Olise, and guys, 
he can't drop any further. It's kind of the Art of Goulaire situation all over again because his minimum price is 60,000 coins. Yesterday, he was 76k, and he literally dropped all the way down to minimum price. He would be lower than this if he could be lower. He was probably one of the cards that dropped off the most after this Julie SBC came out, just because it's like, wow. I would honestly say that this uh, Olise card is uh, better than Julie, in my opinion. I mean, he's five-star skills, four-star weak foot. He's completely different. He's six foot two instead of five five. But uh, I liked his play stop. Plus is way better than Julie's, but the fact that they can drop an SBC like this and get a player that people can craft for, I mean, basically free. 93,000 coins in these conditions of the SBC section and packs is very easy to get done. So cheap SBC there. That is nothing to complain about, to be completely honest. Now, also, we have what I'm calling the daily log on, right? The daily log on is just your daily dose of 83 times 10 SBCs, your daily gold upgrades, right? If you're stocking your club with those, I have one more of those to do. And then basically doing all the upgrade packs that you can. What did we say in yesterday's video that we're trying to get basically 10 of these fantasy FC crafting upgrades done per day, 10 to 12 that you can keep up with the whole progression before that it goes away. Uh, and yeah, it's very possible if you're doing the daily upgrades, the 81 plus player pick is going away today. That's one of the frustrating things, I guess. Not frustrating, but disappointing things right this has been so nice to have and so nice uh to craft through the crafting upgrade is still nice and i don't imagine ea is going to refresh with this today we'll talk about that a little bit further on in the video um one other bit of news from yesterday is congrats to liverpool and of course anybody who did the McAllister sbc because he is going to get a plus two he has not been upgraded as of right now me recording this video but McAllister is going to go to an 89 rated card Again, I wish they were going to give him a double play style plus. If they surprise us and they do, that would be dope. Um, but uh, yeah, that's going to be who gets the upgrade that for that. VVD must have done the SBC with his performance yesterday. And uh, his goal being the winning goal, deciding that match and the upgrade for McAllister. So hopefully that's today. Usually for big games that they promote showdowns for, especially when they take a picture with the guy after the match with his card. Usually they are upgrading that card pretty fast. So I'm hoping that that will be upgraded today for those of you that did the SBC. Now I want to talk about some fantasy cards because you noticed here in the intro maybe um, that I actually had bought a couple. Not very many, but I bought a Shell Honoglu for 320 and I picked up a couple of Paul Tano's for 22,000 coins. Uh, because yeah guys, these prices are moving all over the place and especially as we head into this week, there's going to be so many people wanting to invest in these cards and it's all about timing when you invest in live cards like this remember a couple of weeks ago of road to the final where the cards started to go up they just went up 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 and if you didn't get in in those first couple of days they just kept going up and they went super crazy high right we remember some of those prices where like sule was like 200 and something thousand coins uh lukaku was under a million by far i mean who's gone up a ton donnarumma was 65,000 coins and now he's 149k leon bailey was 180 now he's 301 right stuff like that it's gonna be potential there's gonna be potential for big price rises on these cards as well and i think it might even start today and tomorrow on this game that's why i want to talk about these cards now i'm going to highlight one item right away hakan shalhanaglu i just picked one up at 320 because yesterday as we mentioned selling in the hype was the key he was 420,000 coins into game time he was still right around 400k now they did win and they won in a very considerable fashion yesterday inter won four nil and i want to show you a tracker um, here with inter uh, in showing the stats and everything for shalhanaglu they won four nil but Shalhanoglu did not see the pitch. Evidently, he was injured in training. It was a slight knock, I guess. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but this is one of the cards that I like the most for potential upgrades because he has another game midweek this week. On the 28th, they play against Atalanta. And like we mentioned a couple of videos ago, um, some of these cards, especially Serie A cards, have so many games in the next two weeks that all four of their league matches are going to be completed by them, which is huge for the potential upgrade. And when the potential upgrades are closer or seeming higher potential than uh, other cards in this promo, the ones that have the higher potential to get upgraded are the ones that are going to get invested in and go up. So I know that he's down a lot. 320K is, is down a ton, as you can see from where he was. And it's because he did not play. But everything else, like, bro, scoring four goals, that is way more than any other team scored with a live card. And that is, again, a very great start to getting 11 goals. Even if he doesn't do a goal or an assist, he still might get three upgrades for getting the wins 
the goals and the appearances. We do believe he will appear in the next three games if his injury is not too crazy. But another reason I like a fantasy card right now to invest in is Politano, kind of for the same thing, right? I mean, they didn't have as great of a game yesterday. Like, where's Politano? Let me show this. They drew, so they didn't get a win, but he appeared in the match, and they did at least score one goal. So um, he got an appearance, right? And it's one tally on the goal, and they have semi-favorable matchups heading through. I should, they should be able to get two wins, Sassuolo and Torino, right? And again, these games happen in such quick succession that basically by the time I come back from vacation, they'll be on their third game and into their fourth game uh, for these cards. That's why I like Politano, and that's why I like Chalhanaglu the most. So if I were you looking through some of these cards, I would say to do a little bit of research. This tracker is the best one that I found. I'll leave a link to it down below in the description if you want to take a look at it. Um, because it doesn't show the dates, but it does show you who they're playing and kind of their progress in those different places. Uh, Majri is one that's very, very popular. A lot of people are wanting to invest in this uh, Majri card because of the links to Basha and because the women's Lyon team is just unbelievable, right? Like they, they're so, so, so good IRL. The problem with this card is, number one, her first game isn't until March 3rd. I think all the women's clubs right now are on international break. Uh, so their games don't start for a long time, which is, I think, not as good in terms of investing value because your upgrades are not, you know, kind of imminent and, and there. So that's one thing I would say to be careful with for her. But she was 140000 Now she's 160000 So she is going up. A um, couple of cards to note from yesterday. Iago Aspas, he scored a goal in this game. They did not win, but they scored two goals and he appeared and he actually got a goal. So that's the first card that is getting upgraded. The second card to actually get upgraded is Furlan Mendy because they kept a clean sheet against Sevilla. So with his appearance, right, one of three, they scored one goal and they won. So one win to go as well. Furlan Mendy had like the furthest, I guess you could say, progression in terms of an upgrade. And his card is one of the only ones that is up from where it was. So he's 6.2 mil. He was like 5.5. He's up a lot. Marquinhos is down because PSG did not play well. And Delict, actually, I love this Delict card, man. This is another one of my favorites for investing. If he goes back down close to a mil, this guy yesterday went from 1.3 mil down to a million coins and is now back to 1.13. And he's going pretty good on the upgrade path so far as well. He appeared once, they won, and two out of 11 goals and very favorable matchups to come. So, you know, that's kind of what I would look at when you're investing in these cards. Look at the ones that have favorable matchups and games that are soon to come. Um, and then, of course, ones that are meta as well. I'm a little hesitant on Politano. I know that I bought a couple. I'm a little hesitant on his cards still, though because he only has one play style plus. And I'm a little hesitant on Lacazette as well. Um, actually, one interesting thing about Lacazette I want to point out to you guys is this card was dropped on the 24th, and it says here in his uh, in his additional information that his upgrades are starting as of February 23rd. Now, if it's actually coded that he's going to get upgrades as of 23rd of February, that was when he scored a goal and Leon won. But technically, that should not count for his upgrades because he wasn't in the game then. He was actually dropped to 24. So I think that's a little EA mistake. As I mentioned, we're going to see mistakes for sure with how they upgrade these cards. So if you're keeping a close eye on these fantasy cards, I would keep a close eye on them, especially on a Wednesday. I think Wednesday could be the update day, upgrade day. So like Mendy uh, is doing upgrade. Iago Aspas is doing upgrade. And he's already going up in price. But if you get some low undercuts today at any point, I mean, he was 30K. He went to 37. And then he'll back down to 31. If you can get this at like 32 or 31K, I think that's pretty solid. Looks like he's just going to go up from here as he will be getting upgraded this week. Same thing with the hero cards. Like the hero cards are actually a lot of them progressing towards upgrades pretty well too. Marquisio, right, being Juve, they won. Uh, a lot of draws in there, but Julie, they won. And Julie's game actually counts because he was dropped yesterday on the game. And in the fine text on his website, it says if they're dropped the same day as their club plays, who cares what time it was? If it was the same day, it counts. So all he needs is one more win, and he can go to a 91 rated. Um, company, Lisa Razu and Tevez, of course, these two both being City, have all progressed towards their first upgrade as well. So I'm not really investing in the heroes as much, but um, definitely something to keep watch on with these cards, as a lot of people will be investing. I think you'll start to see the prices go up a little bit, even today, especially on guys like Aspas 
and some of the cards that people expect to get upgraded this week or have a very favorable chance of getting upgraded. I don't think there's going to be a UEFA marquee matchups today because there's not Champions League this week. If I'm, I'm going to double check myself here, but I'm pretty sure there is not Champions League games this week. Uh, yeah, there's FA Cup games on Tuesday and on Wednesday as well. So there's no Champions League or Women's Champions League either because they're in, on international break. So I don't think we'll have like a random Phantom UEFA MMs this week that could supply those cards that much. So I think you should be chilling on some of those investments. So I want to talk about that at length because I knew there was a lot of potential uh, investors in that. And these are live cards, right? There's always a lot of FOMO, a lot of FOMO with live cards. So get ready to see some of those prices moving as people want to get involved and get invested. Very last shout buy one Andre, buy one Carl and Stark and put them in the club and just hold on because when upgrades come, they will get upgraded for fodder purposes, especially. I would definitely, I know everybody's packed in Andre, right? Maybe untradeable, you have one. Buy one tradable. If you have if you have less than 100,000 coins, maybe you don't. But if you have more than 100K, put one-tenth of your budget um, into that. If you're 100K, then one-tenth of your budget would be about one, Andre. That's what I'm trying to say. I wouldn't say if you have a mill, put one-tenth of your budget into it. But just put one or two of those in the club on the transfer list. And uh, that's free coins in like two, three, four weeks. Hopefully, as those cards should at least get one or two upgrades and go higher in rating. Let's talk about today's content. We already mentioned the 81-plus player pick. Does it go away? Does it refresh? I don't think it's going to refresh. Um, just being honest, because we have the Fantasy FC Crafting and the 81 double that's already out. Could they drop another upgrade pack, though? Like, I don't know, maybe an 85 double, 86 plus player pick. They're, they're kind of going all out with the content, to be honest, in terms of the packs. I would say there's a slight chance of them dropping an, another sort of player pick SBC today on this game uh, instead of the 81 plus. It's still sort of like an upgrade pack. But I think that since there's a lot of upgrades that are out already, if, it, if there is going to be anything that's dropped, it's not going to be super duper major. Now, again, we're still looking for daily player SBCs. EA have kind of set a precedent with this message here in the game, if it loads, um, that we're getting daily player SBCs during this promo. We've had Werner, we've had Julie, we've had Alex Scott, and it's not loading because there we go. Uh, we'll see. There's no other leaks as of right now, but I would imagine that each of the player SBCs that will get leaked, uh, that will drop this week, should be leaked as well. And EA's content tweet today on Monday should give us some insight into how that is going to look as well. Now, looking a bit further on into the week, what other content do we have to look forward to this week on this game? Uh, we do have a League One ter uh, Player of the Month, Terrier. Again, he stole the award, as we're going to say it, from Mbappe and Ben Yedder. He's going to get a Player of the Month. I believe that SBC will be this week. And then you know how it goes every single week, guys. I mean, EA, they're keeping it pretty repetitive right now uh, with like the 87 plus pick and the icon pick just rotating back and forth. Tuesdays, we get a brand new, you know, gamble pick with like team of the group stages wild cards versus maybe they throw road to the finals into this maybe if they do i would say if they throw in road to the finals into a player pick this week and they kind of add in like one of the newest promos i would say be careful with cards like maybe uh maybe marino jimenez emerson gonzalez some of those cards that are very very cheap that would get packed at least a halfway uh, common amount in those player picks. So be a little bit careful with those. Not saying it's a guarantee or it's going to happen, just saying it maybe could happen. Um, more evolutions. Hopefully we get more Evos this week because Evos right now are even still pretty dry besides the Future Star Academy uh, stuff. The, the Future Star Strike Force training goes away soon. Um, so I think we'll get more Evos this week for sure. That'll be on EA's content tweet. And then, of course, looking all the way to this next Friday, we're going to have Team 2 of the fantasy promo which is going to bring more live cards and again guys once again remember that the cards are only live the day that they drop into the game so whatever uh sbcs are released this week and especially whatever cards that ea released this next friday those will be live as of the time they drop in the game you can always check i guess this is how ea is going to keep track of it in the additional information section it gives a date right this player is eligible for upgrades after February 23rd or starting on February 23rd. So that's one thing to watch out for. There's definitely going to be leaks this week. And I would 100% think that we're going to get some players from clubs that are not represented in this team one. So we're talking Manchester United, Barcelona, Dortmund. There's plenty of clubs. Like they doubled up on um, Atletico Madrid with Molina and with Griezmann. They're definitely going to double up and add in a bunch of other clubs that have not been represented so far in the team two of this promo. And hopefully they drop some more juiced 
heroes. Like I'm thinking we need a Di Natale. We need another Ginola. We need a Lucio. We need a Cordoba. Anybody who has not got a special hero like so far this year and still only has the base version needs to get an upgraded card that is live. So look for more of those leaks and all that action coming towards later in the week as well. That's kind of like the normal weekly kind of piece of content and how things are moving too so and again with every single day in this game you got the 83 times 10 that are refreshing the craftability is great i'm really excited to follow content kind of from like afar i'll be paying attention a little bit this week as i'm away um especially today if they say there's going to be a bunch of sbcs like icon sbcs this week really really hoping that ea give us something to like grind and craft towards i think a lot of us are looking forward to a big expensive player sbc like an icon like a ronaldinho or a croy for something of that level that we could just chip away at over time it's more of an expensive card just something pretty crazy to grind after i'm hoping that that sort of thing can come out this week as well and uh yes i have invested in a few things with this time um coming up I've gone for fodder guys and actually some of the prices that I paid for some of this fodder it's actually at or a little bit below I was buying 89s last night for like 27 to 28 thousand coins on bid when they were still like 29 they're now 27k and I just thought you know what that's a price to me that is too cheap so I put literally half of my entire coin balance into 89s at 28 to 27 thousand coins um, because I like that the exchange SBC is out and I just know that over time these cards are going to go back up again at, at some point 89s are going to hit back to like 30 to 35 thousand coins it might be it might be a month from now it might be two weeks from now we'll have to see but I'm just going to say I'm going to put two mil of my coins into that just sit on it and wait for that I don't like ever fodder invest but i was like you know what i might as well do something while i'm away um and not paying attention as much so if you want to do something along those lines get into the high rated fodder fodder itself in the middle tier is back down too like 86 is at 8.3k yesterday with the hero pick coming out they are back down if 86s are like 8,000 coins today or even tomorrow that's pretty low for 86s, but you're going to need some sort of catalyst to bring them back up. Like an icon pick is a big gamble type of SBC. It's going to have to be not just player SBCs. You're going to have to drop some other sort of pack SBC that would require 86s or something like that to make those cards really go up more, in my opinion. So that's one thing that I would say about that. Um, rest of the fodder market really... Apart from Team of the Week cards, Team of the Week cards are absolutely exploding. If you have Team of the Weeks, what I would tell you to do is probably sell them before hmm, let's let's think thursday maybe you sell them around thursday to friday because once we get to the weekend those should dip down i think they're like selling for thirty thousand coins is that true like right around 30k for team of the weeks so if you're gonna sell those lazy list them for sure around content okay maybe just a smidge under 30k I'm hearing of people that have gotten sales from anywhere from 30 to 35,000 coins on lazy sales. So make sure you have those listed around the content drop when everybody's buying these uh, for the 83 times 10s each and every day. But that is an insane, insane rise there. But I would probably get out and then look to reinvest on the weekend if the prices dip down enough so yeah guys that's kind of the video for me uh, i do have to finish up some champs games i'm not going to be able to play my cup at all and uh, i'll probably try to play some of those games when i get back but it will be one week no videos uh, i'll be tweeting a little bit i won't be streaming at all either so if you want to check in and just see some maybe i'll post a couple of pictures of me on vacation and holiday so if you want to see some of those follow me over on x but it's really just going to be a time to take a break and you know i think some people always ask me nate how can you like play the game this much and care about the game this much and not get frustrated with it each and every day throughout the whole year and it's taking breaks like this like in the middle of the year during a time where it's okay to take a break right we're after team of the year we're between foot birthday the game's in a little bit of a lull i mean this content is good but it's just a great time for me to reset, get away. And if you need to reset and get away too, like maybe take this opportunity as a uh, as a time to do that as well um, and, and just reset and get away or just like maybe decrease how much you're playing the game if it's getting to you and if it's making you tired and stuff like that. So there will all be co cool things in the future, future that we can come back to and get excited for in this game. And we'll come back from holiday. I will very energized and ready to go and excited but that's what this kind of is for also i finished timo Werner. uh if you have the op the opportunity this week craft this card wow i mean his power shots they're just like broken i don't know what it is he just shoots the power shot and they just they go in it's crazy so this card was very very good i had a blast using him yes he's spurs of course yes he's a little expensive but he's craftable 
and he's cracked. So I have no regrets about doing that SBC right there. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the video for me today. I will miss doing these every single day of this next week, but I will see you guys very soon. Again, check the link down below in the description if you want to check out the tracker that we looked at or follow along uh, as I'm on holiday on X. But if you enjoyed the video today, guys, drop a thumbs up on it, comment below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And thank you for all the support on the videos. I can't have a video like this without saying thank you guys for the continued support watching the videos every single day. And I will see you soon. It's been Nathan Account. See you guys later. Peace.